Today we'll be looking at two X-Tool products as part of their Safety Pro line. First will be the AP2, which is a fume purifier extractor, and the next one will be the IF2, which is the inline duct fan. When you open the AP2 box, you will see some hoses and some accessories. And then you'll see this guy. You alright? No. Be warned, this uh, is pretty heavy and it has some uh, little uh, cargo straps to lift the unit out. May need two people. Once you move the AP2 out, you will see this little yellow tag. It says, um, you know, remove the door and don't remove the cyclone. Oops, uh, I didn't really follow those instructions, but let's continue on. Now the cyclone actually is your pre-filter. It will remove up to uh, actually size five microns and up, and this is actually water washable. You know, you can take it apart and wash it, and this will prolong the life to about 10 times for your filters. Pretty cool. And here are the six stages for this filtering system. First, you have the Super Cyclone filter. This will block 99% um, of uh, particles over five microns. If you've ever done like CNC milling, a lot of people will put a cyclone uh, type attachment ahead of the extractor to actually trap those large particles. Same concept. And this is water washable. So that means you can just keep on reusing it. You then have a pre-filter that will intercept 90% of visible substances. Then you have a medium efficiency filter that will remove 95% of fine dust, the active carbon filter that will intercept 88.5% of harmful fumes, then the ultra dense carbon mesh, which will absorb odors and the high efficiency filter. That's a lot. And these are actually cheaper than the predecessor to the whole kit is like half the price. And you could buy each of these filters individually if you so choose. Yeah, sometimes I just don't follow instructions very well, but I wanted to take a look at this cyclone really quick. Again, this is water washable. Unfortunately, you do have to remove screws that separate the panels, but it's good to see that this type of technology is now in place. You will have to remove each of these filters and the bag, so it's just good to know how this whole system works. And of course, they are labeled for, you know, basically one through five. So, and then you just take the bags out and you're just going to have to put them in. It's good to just familiarize yourself on how this whole system works. And each of these are, again, replaceable on their own. Or you could buy the whole kit. And this should last about 10 times longer. And this front is held on with magnets. Both the AP2 and the IF2 both come with uh, Bluetooth modules that you could plug into some of your compatible X-Tool products to communicate with them so they are automatically set when you turn on and start engraving or cutting. Now you only get one hose with this and I'm just going to attach it from the back of my F1 Ultra and to the top of the AP2. Uh, I did not attach a hose to the bottom because really there's nothing coming up but nice fresh air. Now let's take a look at the size difference between the old extractor and the new one. It's a little bit bigger. It almost looks like a beefy um, like PC case. Now it is uh, compatible with certain X-Tool products. You could uh, go ahead and uh, do a manual override to set your fan speed if you so choose. But um, I'm going to keep mine on auto because I am using the F1 Ultra and it will automatically set the fan speed if I so choose in the software depending on what type of engraving or cut that I am doing. Now you have to be running the latest version of XCS as well as possibly update the firmware on your devices. And this is common with any, basically any uh, Xtool product. So always be on the lookout. You're going to go ahead and download the newest version and definitely make sure that, um, yeah, nothing is um, turned off during this process. You don't want to corrupt anything. And once that is all done, you should be good to go. You'll find a new basically section under device settings under accessory information which will show you like if you want to change how long the filter runs like I have mine set for the default 10 seconds it'll show you filter lifespan and when you should basically clean your cyclone. Let's see how well the IF2 extracts. It is set to automatic and it took just a, like a second or two for it to engage you can see that it's really pulling that smoke through the back 
and it's set to auto, so it's automatically doing this. So far, I do not smell anything, and it is really, really cranking this through. You can see that it's just literally just every little puff is going right through the back of the machine and through the hose. This is pretty darn impressive. Definitely a lot better than just the regular fan that's in the back to extract the fumes and smoke. And it's still going. I, I am very impressed on the overall performance so far of this uh, AP2. You can really see how it's just really pulling in all the smoke. It's nice that for certain Xtool products, they'll automatically adjust the suction speed to extract the fumes based on power and speed. So you, there's really nothing for you to do. And you can really see again how well this is working i also switched it to a cut pass here and you can see that's doing the same it's really extracting all the smoke again i'm doing a really high power here just for demonstration purposes this is not going to be a real nice engraving by any means but you could see how well it's doing got a little bit of a flame there so again testing purposes i suggest not doing this on your own machine at all now you're going to ask well, can you smell anything that's uh, being engraved? Well, yes, you're going to still have some of the aroma. And the reason is, is because even though this is going to be extracting and past the engraving, I did it for 10 seconds. When you open it, you're going to have that smell of the material. You cannot get rid of that. However, I did ask the wife when she came into the house, did you smell anything that was burning? And she said, no, I had the garage open into the house during all of this. and She didn't smell a thing. I think that says <laughs> says volumes for this. So I did uh, four engravings of this really high power, lots of smoke, some cutting. And I could tell you on the previous uh, fume extractor, that pre-filter would, you would see, you know, particulates in it. So I'm wondering how this cyclone and the pre-filter is going to look. So I removed that front panel and the alarm went off saying, hey, um, yeah, you have the front panel off. So you know that if you're, Using it with a compatible Xtool product, it's going to communicate with the software. And again, this is the Cyclone right here that's going to remove the bigger particulates. And it looks rather clean. There are six screws that you will need to remove when you clean this um, underwater. And you want to make sure everything is bone dry before you replace it. But I'm looking at this first stage, this pre-filter. I want to see how it looks. And I am very impressed. This looks still brand new. Again, the pre-filter on the older model would definitely have lots of particulates in it. So when Xtool is saying that this is gonna last about 10 times longer and I could just replace this pre-filter or any of in filter individually, I think that's a great solution. So again, you could uh, just check it, but the software will let you know, um, as I showed you at the beginning, how long it will last and um, it gives you percentages and then you could physically check it if you so choose. The cover is magnetic and I suggest putting it at the bottom first to snap it in. And that leads us to today's video sponsor, PCB Way. Are you looking for a PCB manufacturer? Are you looking for rigid, flexible PCBs? Are you looking for them to assemble them for you? Well, they can. And they also offer other services such as 3D printing, injected molding, and CNC. Heck, they even have a community section where you could buy a project and assemble it on your own. If you're looking for any of these services, please reach out to PCB Way. Next, we're gonna take a look at the IF2, the inline fan. And this is a very powerful fan. And it's hooked up the same way with the hose, the Bluetooth module, and I'm gonna have it on auto. And it's going to be connected to the F1 Ultra. So it's gonna automatically do the settings for me. And we're gonna do basically the same test. High power burn, engraving and look at the smoke just come out i mean this thing is pretty darn powerful yeah i'm very impressed so far um i did use two hoses to go outside the garage and you can see that uh it does have you know sensors built in as well and it's just, it's just really pulling that smoke all the way through and you can even see at the bottom of this engraving how it's pulling the smoke on this time lapse. It's, I, it's very, very impressive how much volume this thing is pulling. Look at this on the side profile. 
it's really extracting that smoke out. And a lot of people will vent out a window or like what I'm doing, I was just outside the garage here and you can just see the billows of smoke just coming right out. And um, I was just getting another hose just in case uh, if you're using a different machine because you can just really extend this a little bit all the way across your shop, so choose. This is a really great solution. Since both the AP2 and IF2 have manual overrides for exhaust, that means that both these extracting units are compatible with other lasers that are outside the X-Tool line of products. For instance, this is a UV laser that I am engraving some shot glasses for a client, and I have about 150 of them to do. I am 25 in, and um, this has been done without any extraction of for the smoker fumes. I have been wearing proper PEE with you know a, a respirator and safety glasses, of course. And you can see all the particulates that are all over the build surface. This is the stuff that you want to make sure that's extracted out of your environment. This is why it is crucial for you to be using an extractor unit and not being close to the machine, if, especially if you're not using one. So let's go ahead and clean up this build surface here and see how well the AP2, the fume extractor, with purification works to keep this build surface clean and our environment clean. I know, go ahead, make fun of my jig. It is what it is. I didn't have time to make a 3D printed version for these shot glasses. So this is what I'm doing. I have some maker coins and my rotary just fixated in one spot. But you will see that I have the AP2 hose right behind there and you can actually see it extracting the fumes if you look really closely. So I again have about 100 and like, oh, like 50 of these to do. And I want to be sure that I'm extracting all these particulates out um, because you don't want to be breathing any of these in. I would still suggest wearing proper PPE. I did raise the hose up a little bit because you want it basically at the highest surface and you could see that this build plate is still rather clean. Actually cleaner than it was before. You could see some particulates on there, but it's not nearly as bad as it was. And that was with four times as many shot glasses as it was before. Now that just shows you how well it works. Now some overall thoughts. Now this IF2, the inline fan, has this uh, special mounting bracket, so you could easily mount it to a wall and remove it if so choose. This is great for other products, uh, even outside of the X-Tool family. So that way it's up and away and it makes it for a real nice clean install. Again, the whole stack of filters for the AP2 is less than half the price of the one main filter for the original extracting unit. And it's a little bit bigger, but you know what? I think it's definitely a lot better package. Now I am playing some mental gymnastics here. What do you mean by that? Well, these, you know, a lot of these units come with an exhaust fan built in. Just wondering if these fans should just be removed if you're going to be using another purifying unit because technically I think it might be blocking more of the airflow. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. I think the only negative thing that I can really think of is that I think uh, both the IF2 and the AP2 should come with two hoses, not just one. And that's about really the only negative thing I have to say about both these units because both of them worked extremely well. And they worked out of the box as they were advertised to. And if you are looking to purchase this product, affiliate links are down below. And the affiliate links do not cost you anything more, they just help support the channel. Now, I wasn't given any promotional materials of a specific pricing, but rest assured that the link that you click on below will have the most current pricing available with discounts. So I truly appreciate you tuning into Tripod's Garage. Please have a wonderful day, evening, or weekend, or whenever you decide to watch this video. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll catch you later on Tripod's Garage.